Hey, good morning. Let's go over today's trade plan. So in the overnight session, the market had been balancing within a range. As discussed in yesterday's recap, the market is now primed for a directional move. And quite often, key high volume nodes serve as launching points of directional conviction. And right now, the major HVN is at 3827. Now, the employment number was a potential catalyst. And so far, the market has held above yesterday's bias confirming zone. And now off the open, the main question is whether that support is going to continue to hold and whether we're now going to get some upside continuation. Because post NFP, we got a spike up into the naked V pocket 3874, where sellers stepped in. And now off the open, we're going to watch and see whether buyers can push the market above the 3848 to 58 pre-market resistance. If they can do that, that would serve as a sign of intraday strength. And from there, ES can head up into the overnight high area at 3874. And then we have resistance at 3879 half to 85 half, followed by 3893 quarter to 96 quarter. And a breakout above 3896 quarter would be an intraday bullish indication. And then we have initial resistance, which is the bias confirming zone at 3899 to 3908. Now, in order for the market to head higher, we will need to see broad market strength and sustained upside momentum in real time. So in other words, we will need to see signs of initiative buying if the market is going to make any kind of notable upside move, especially above 3899 to 3908. But early in the session, how the market behaves at the 3848 to 58 pre-market resistance is going to give us an early indication as to which side is in control. If the market can break and hold above pre-market resistance, then it could set a move into motion that eventually takes the market up into the initial resistance zone. And then in order to take out initial resistance, we will need to see some decent upside momentum and a breakout above initial resistance would be an intraday bullish confirmation, which can bring 39.17 quarter to 22 quarter into play with potential to test 39.32 to 42. And if those two zones can get taken out, then eventually the market can end up heading even higher. Now, given that it's a Friday and we're heading into the weekend, even if we get an upside move, the market doesn't necessarily have to put in an extremely wide upside range which takes ES all the way up into 39, 55 to 65 in a single session. It's certainly possible, but we do have to keep in mind that we are heading into a weekend. And for that reason, even if the buyers maintain control, the high probability upside target is the initial resistance zone with potential to hit 39, 17 quarter to 22 quarter and maybe 39, 32 to 42. Now keep in mind that our short term bias is still neutral. So we are going to have to continue to be flexible and nimble in real time. On the downside, we have the previous close in VPOC at 38.29 and 29 quarter and the HVN at 38.27. And then the intraday bias confirming zone is the initial support zone at 38.13 quarter to 24 quarter. And a break and hold below that area would serve as an intraday bearish confirmation. Now, in order for the bearish scenario to come into play, ES would have to take out the initial support zone. As long as the market is holding above initial support, and especially if it's holding above pre-market resistance, the intraday bias would favor the upside, and eventually the market can head up into 38.79 half to 85 half, as well as 38.93 quarter to 96 quarter, and 38.99 to 39.08. So that is the market context and plan heading into the open. Let's see how the real time situation shapes up and how the market deals with the initial support and the pre-market resistance zone. That's going to provide us with an early indication as to which side is in control and we'll take it from there.